We're here in Copenhagen. So far, my haphazard plan for world domination has gone smashingly well. I came here to Denmark in the winter time, and as things happen in the winter time now, there's there's a little Tony Bun that the girl version that's due in November. So it's caused me to start thinking about doing all kinds of new things, uh, doing a new recording, which I'm now conceiving. Um, small world was nice, but uh, but the world got so small that uh, we got to do new things now. So uh, here I am, back in Copenhagen, trying to figure out which way is up. Yeah, and you've been in Europe many times before. Yes, yes. So yes. tell me about that. Yeah, yeah. I was here. The first time I was here was in uh, 1976 with Sunra. Uh, wow, for three months, and um, we did pretty much every festival uh, there was to do here: Pescara, uh, Montreux, uh, Milan, uh, this, that, and the other. Had a great time. Recorded, um, recorded. Uh, wow, I think two fairly classic um, recordings: the Latin yeah. Montreux album and, and Cosmos. And I came back a couple of times with um, uh, Michael Urbaniak and uh, his wife Ursula Dusiak. Recorded a few more albums. Uh, met Kenny Kirkland. Uh, was, we kind of had fun. Did a few tours together. And, uh, he went off to to uh, play with Wynton Marsalis and those guys and, and become world renowned on keyboard. And I went off to, to to slink in the shadows and wind up doing rocket science. So. It's taken me about 20 some years to get back to playing the bass, and um, here I am <laughs> in Copenhagen. Yeah. yeah. And the album Small World has been a smashing success. Smashing success, <laughs> and you have have some great collaborations on there, and and a lot of people talk yeah. very well about that album. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It, we had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, Dennis Chambers was on there with me. Um, uh, world-renowned drummer from uh, just about everything under the sun. Uh, an up-and-coming pianist named Arshak Surunyan was on there with me. and uh, He also released his journal album, um, I think about a little bit earlier this year, and it's also doing fairly well, uh, very complex music. So he's on my recording, I'm on his, and we collaborate and do a lot of things together. And, uh, had a lot of fun. This is the bass that that all the bass parts on the uh, groundbreaking Small World recording uh, were, were performed on. This bass played the leads, the melodies, the this, the that. Uh, and I, I've had it for about 20, I guess about 20 years. And it was um, a gift to me from Paul Reed Smith who um, he and I have collaborated on what's arguable, um, arguably uh, the first um, flash strain bass, the first modern flash strain bass in 1977. Um, it's kind of funny because you know people people kind of jokingly call me like the godfather of, of flash strain basses, and I'm just I'm just um, I'm thankful that that I guess that that instrument has the flash strain format anyway has become somewhat a standard, and that. Uh, I was at least somewhere on the right track at the right time to be able to, uh, you know, be a part of that movement. Uh, and although I can't lay claim to being any godfather, I will say that I am the god brother of bass. So, that, so the god brother of the five-string bass is sitting here talking to you now. It's probably as much a continuation of Small World as my life is from 2009 to right now. So, so I guess any any kind of music one does, um, if one is honest about it, is a reflection of his or her life um, at that time. And so, where Small World was was uh, conceived um, in back around Washington D.C. Now. I'm, here in Denmark and the world has gotten smaller and, and uh, you know so yeah it, 
one could say it's a continuation, but 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 probably another stop along the journey might be uh, 